Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. And today we're going to go through an exciting new feature on our analog simulator. We've had many requests to make the ALP2 be able to sweep and step through milliamp and voltage value. And we are happy to announce that we have added these two new features. To access these new features, go into current two wire, current source, or voltage mode just as you normally would. The up and down arrows let you manually scroll through 4 to 20 milliamp analog values. Actually, the pull scale is 0 to 22 milliamp so that you can simulate broken wires and other fault conditions. In voltage mode, the pull scale is minus 10 volt to plus 10 volt. While in this mode, press the OK button. This brings up the output cycle menu, which includes sweep cycle, step cycle, and custom profile. Highlight the sweep cycle and press OK. There are three parameters to configure for the sweep cycle. The full sweep time, the start value, and the final value. Highlight full sweep time and press the OK button. Enter the time in seconds that you want the analog simulator to go from the start value to the final value. Then enter the start value and the final value. Now select run cycle. As you can see, it now scrolls smoothly from the start value to the final value over the full sweep time selected, then goes from the final value to the start value over the same full sweep time and repeats. If you need to stop the sweep function at any time during the cycle, press the OK button and the analog simulator will pause and hold that analog output at the current value. Pressing the OK button again will resume. Press the cancel button to exit this mode and go back to the sweep configuration. Press the cancel button one more time to get back to the output cycle menu. Now let's go through the step cycle. Highlight step cycle and press the OK button. You will need to configure the step time, which is the time between the increments of individual steps, the step size, which is the amount of the step, the start value, and the end value. To start the step cycle, highlight Run Step Cycle and press OK. As you can see, the signal increments 2 milliamps every second from 4 to 20 and back to 4 and then repeat. These features work exactly the same in current 2 wire mode and voltage source mode. I can see a lot of good uses for these two new features, especially out in the field where maybe you need to simulate you know, various tank levels kicking on a pump or you know where you need to simulate a signal here and then you need to walk off somewhere else and check something. Be sure to share in the comments uses you find for these two new features. <laughs> and also send us video footage of you using our analog simulator and you never know, you might get a special offer. Till next time. See ya. Okay. She's trying to hog the screen. <laughs> okay, now we're back on. Got to get our happy faces on. Hello. Hello. Recording, don't do anything stupid. What? I said I started recording, don't do anything stupid. What do you mean stupid? Silly. Why not? Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.